Hello, beautifuls and beloveds. How are you today? I am Noelle Rose Anderson, hyphen Kale, the dance warrior, coming to you raw, real, and uncensored. And I love bringing to you a lot of different things. I like to bring up controversial things too. Why? Because it must be discussed. We have to talk about these things. I want you to be able to express yourself freely as much as I want to do it. So these are my opinions and I'm expressing them. Anyway, I usually bring to you all this stuff about dance, 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 but because of the stuff and the climate in which we find ourselves personally in, I just can't do that all the time. I am out there warring on your behalf and mine. Writing senators, calling senators, are you doing that? Although if you call the people in California, they're really not answering their phones for some reason. Very interesting, isn't it? Anyway, we are. We are doing this because I don't want you or I to wake up in the world and one day just say, well, what the hell happened? Although a lot of us are saying that today. Anyway, what the hell did happen? Uh, I think I know. <laughs> Maybe that's for a, a video for another, another day. But anyway, today I want to talk to you about something that is really important. And it is age discrimination. So let's hashtag that, right? Let's title this video, Age Discrimination. And I once used to think that when I was little, wow, you turned 50, you're old, ancient. All right, hang up your whatever bootstraps and pass on your thing to somebody else. You're too old, you know, move along. But did you know, I was obviously brainwashed in a sense. I got over that. Um, and I was wrong, and the people who taught me that were wrong. But did you know that our human body is actually made to last 130 years? Biologists know it. Archaeologists know it. Doctors know it. Scientists know it. Chemists know it. So why aren't they telling us this? Well, I think I know why. Did you see in the 70s, 80s, 90s, you know, there's been a movement of, you know, you get to be a certain age. Anything put a cardinal number for it and add a zero. And, you know, oh God, you turn 30, so 29, 30, that 30 is your last best year of your life. 40, oh no, you're getting positively older. 50, forget about, it. hang up everything and retire, right? Well, no, that's wrong. And uh, we've come a little bit of ways about age discrimination, but it's not far enough, people. So I'm gonna talk to you today about, yeah, it is a controversial subject about age discrimination. Now, our company, we have dancers that are practically pretty close to being twice my age, and they're still rocking it on stage. I'm not saying that they don't have hurdles to overcome, but you know what, they, they're out there, sometimes almost better, healthier than, than I am. I'm like, well, it's, it's like half their age. So then I'm like, what did they eat? What did they do to have a better lifestyle than I did? And you know, so, I compared, I did my own research, and I'm like, you know what? Why do we have to retire at any age? I'm not saying not to, that's your prerogative. But we've lowered the bar to be 65, right? I think it's 65. It needs to be 60, 62, 65, 60. You know, I'm not even paying attention to that because they expect our bodies are gonna be decrepit too old to work, move over, and let younger people do your job. Hmm. That's the industry side of our world. And I say, BS, BS. Why do we have to even subject ourselves to that nonsense? Why do we have to retire? You know, Charles M. Schultz, who did the cartoon Peanuts, he basically wanted to create and do his job until he just died. And that's exactly what he did. Same thing with Billy Graham. They both lived to be pretty ripe old ages. I don't know how Charles M. Schultz was, but I'm pretty sure Billy Graham was at least 100, wasn't he? I think so. So if our bodies were created to live and last to be 130, what happened the other 30 years? He was still a young chicken. You know what I'm saying? A spring chicken. Really, he looked damn good for his age, too. 
So, I don't just think it was the Lord in his life. I think that he ate very well and he lived in a very healthy environment. And plus, the love of the Lord does help people live longer because you learn how to turn things over to a higher power and not worry because worry will age you. It will. It ages your organs, you know. It's very bad chemical stuff that comes out of you. And I'm not saying or professing to be perfect and not worry myself because I do. A little bit. I'm getting so much better now. I'm like, oh please, we've done that. Once you've been through major extreme stuff like we have, you come to such a place that you kind of say, wait a minute, we've been through more harrowing, right? <laughs> more harrowing things than this, put it in perspective. Not that we would hold anybody else to that same measure because I highly doubt a lot of people have gone through what we have. But nonetheless, you know, we can put it in perspective for ourselves. And we do. So here's the thing. What I want to say about ageism. Like, I have dancers in my company that are pretty much, well, yeah, pretty close to twice my age. So if they can rock it on stage and look good and feel good and entertain and message, you know, there's messaging in our dancing and we hope it's positive and enlightening. I think, why can't I keep doing it? I actually had a family member that says, uh, well, being on this side of a certain digit, uh, I know how it get, and I actually said that too in private. Yeah, you know, it's a little corporation thing again, taking my words from private, planting it on other people, having it get back to me in a passive aggressive way to try to make me do something that the corporation wants me to do, but I won't. So I'm addressing this very loud and clear, and we're actually going to send this to the president too, so he has a copy of this, and all of his people that are hopefully helping us. But age is, it is a number. That's all it is. And if we didn't keep track of it, then really, WTF. Age is just a number. And let me tell you something. First, I'm going to address the fact that uh, I don't care if a family member, I don't care who tells me, hey, don't you think you should pass your dance company down? Yeah, right. You know how old Martha Graham was and she was still dancing on stage and she was still in her company? She had her company until she was no longer here on earth and she lived to be a very decent age. She would probably have lived longer if she would have had a much supportive and healthier lifestyle and I'm referring to her autobiography which supposedly she penned herself but who knows these days. So I'm referring to that and I think that she did a good job and I'm like so if she can do it why can't I? So I have to suspect the corporation is just trying to get me to hand down my dance company to somebody else. Well, they can kiss my little hiney because that ain't gonna happen. This is nobody's. Great for Martha Graham, Ailey, all those people that turn their companies over to somebody else. That's what they wanted to do. I don't have to do that, I will never do that, and I won't do that. So is that clear to every living, breathing human being? Okay, I'm not tolerating anybody else, and I'm writing and I'm addressing even my family and my friends. I need support and encouragement. That doesn't encourage me, and then why the hell do you care what I do? I'm not hurting anybody, I'm not hurting myself, I'm not hurting my body. Are you jealous? Is it the corporation? Who is it? We, we know the answer to this already, you know. Third person parties that the corporation manipulates putting them in my relatives' lives and my relatives regurgitate the things back to me because the third parties told them and said it like three to five times and then all of a sudden they're very weak-minded apparently. I'm not. <laughs> I gotta get with my, my, my folks over here and just kind of drill them on this. Anyway, you know, we kind of figured out the method and the madness because we did research and it's really, really uh, manipulative and it can be very sinister. So anyway, no, I am not giving up my dance company. Why the hell should I? Look, can you still do this? You know how old I am? I ain't gonna tell you. Look, I could put this around. I'm not gonna do it because I need to see my crotch. I put it behind my neck. Okay, I'm extremely flexible, extremely strong. I'm recovering from the accidents, and I'm gonna be a better dancer, being able to do more tricks, more 
cool things than I ever did before because that's what I choose to do. So we're talking about ageism. So it was a comment made to me and it was very, very discriminatory towards me. There is no difference between one kind of discrimination and another. It's keeping a certain group from doing things. It is calling a certain group names. I mean, right? We're in a climate right now and I am I don't like racism, okay? I think it's horrible. I'm not professing to be perfect. We all slip and say things in the heat of the moment and in passion. In private, even in public, it happens. Okay, you don't have to draw and quarter these people and go back, well, you said something 30 years ago, so we're firing you. To hell with that. I'm going to stand up against that. And anybody who fires somebody for that, if they apologize and they made it right, I mean, why make it a federal case? These people are looking and digging for this stuff, trying to make it very prevalent. And I'm like, just stop. Just stop already. I have many cultures and races in my own history and ancestry. So, you know, I'm a human rainbow, you know, hashtag that. That's like my thing that I came up with, right? Because it's true, I have all of this stuff. I forget how many countries. There's over 200 countries. I don't have that much, but more than average person does. And I'm very proud of it because I get to learn. And I get to say, that's really cool. You know, I, I find it exciting. And the thing with age, well, you can be discriminated because of your age. That comment that was told to me is very discriminatory. It was kind of hateful, too. You know, why say that to somebody? You know, I brushed it off. Basically, no, thank you, I'm just gonna still dance. I don't want to go into the medical field. I don't want to go to admin. I, I'm gonna be a performer. That is what I want to do. This is a free company, co free country, and my company is, is mine, and to hell with people who want to try to, I don't know what the hell they're trying to do. I think they think that I'm going to give up my company and give it to somebody else. No, I own my trademark to my company. I own my work. Why the hell would I do that? I mean, really? Oh, because you say so? Who the are you? Sorry. We fund our own shows. We've had, like, nobody come to our shows. That's happened before. Not a lot. It, and I know why it happened, because the corporation purposely rigged the system on us, and we figured it out why. Somebody purposely said, oh, they're sold out. It's like, why are you even sold out? You know, we're trying a different ticketing system. Control it yourselves. So, you know, we're getting our own computer programming and our own ticket things. We're not going to go through third parties anymore. It's like, this is disgusting. This shouldn't be happening. You know, and then messing up our uh, ads and stuff. It's like, that's not an accident. Come on. Are you that stupid? No. People do that intentionally. I've made mistakes helping people before, but it's like, I noticed it and I'm like, oh crap, I need to fix that. And I told them as soon as I figured out what's wrong. I've not done that intentionally to somebody. That's not right at all. Wrong. <laughs> so anyway, you know, let's get back to age discrimination. But I'm like, why the heavy push towards me to hang up my hat? Because they want my stuff. Don't you understand? The corporation, their goal is to get all the money and all the stuff. Sorry. Uh, I really want to flip you all the bird, meaning the corporation people. Not you, my beautiful and beloved. But I'm trying to behave myself today. I really do want to flip y'all off because you deserve that and worse. Um, but it was told to me because of my age and I'm like, excuse me? And you're still doing what? And this person was still doing what they wanted to do with their bodies physically. Am I not right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, go to hell. <laughs> what? And, you know, I love this person very much, but I can recognize the corporation using their third parties. It was probably a Bible study, too. And they had people over, and 
and those people are, yeah, they're not okay. And I'm like, why the hell is there such a push for me to stop? First, when I was young, I couldn't do it because I was too young. And then my mom's like, no, you can't do this because of all these different reasons. And I'm like, no, no, thank you. Go to hell. Get away from me. Leave me alone. I'm going to still do what I want to do. So what I'm telling you, beautifuls and beloveds, don't listen to these assholes, even if they are your friends and family members. If you want to keep doing what you're doing, you keep doing it. And if something funny is going on, like we found out how people are screwing around with their ticket sales and all of this. Look, I don't look my age. My body doesn't look its supposed age. If we're supposed to live to be 130, I am still a young in. You know, with the apostrophe at the end. Right? A young end. I am still very young. So I'm like, stop. I have two thirds at least at least two-thirds of my life wow I plan on living to the fullest extent of my life so then you have to say why are people so ageist well I truly believe that's a brainwashing technique to get people to hang up their hats early so they kick it off the planet earlier people used to live hundreds of years old that's not fable that is actually documented there's evidence of it scientific evidence. So I'm like, well, why can't we keep doing that? Why can't we? It's even said in the Bible how many years we can live up to. So then why does the body die? Because it gets sick. Because there are things in our world that make us sick. There are toxins in our food and our water and now severely in our air. Come on. That's what happens. Because they have this mindset that they're trying to say, oh, our resources aren't going to dwindle. You know the whole hoax and lie about the gasoline, right? The oil. At first it was like, oh, it's a limited amount and we get it from dinosaur bones. And then somebody came up with it just a few years ago, maybe just two, three years, I don't know. It was pretty recent, actually. That uh, That's all BS that we have an unlimited supply because the earth keeps churning it up. That could have been a ploy to make it seem like a rare thing. Could have been, could have been, you know, create the need. Dentists created sugar gum. So do you figure this out? Right? So I'm thinking the same thing about age. Why do we have to stop? Why do we have to, the thing is we don't. So you need to put those people in their own places in your life that are trying to get you to stop. There's another reason why. I did get these people who were telling me this stuff. Oh no, you keep dancing. No, keep dancing. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'll worry about my finances. I'll worry about my future. I would rather be happy. These people got to do what they wanted with their lives. And for so many years, I was pushed down and suppressed by the corporation for many reasons because I was their best kept secret as long as I was kept a secret because they wanted to mooch off of me. That's what happens when you get rid of all the good people in Hollywood and everything that are the great creators. Yeah, you have no more to sponge off of, do you? And you can't control the real artists. They're very free spirits. So, you know, I just broke through my flipping cage and I said the hell with these people. That's what I say to ageism. So I'm pretty sure that I may start filing lawsuits against people for discriminating if they do against me for my age. I can still do the job and in many cases I do it better than the kids. You know a lot of the dancing that I do on stage for my company I'm not there to show off and say look I can do a quad you know a quad pirouette I'm not there to say, hey, wow, look at A technique can be important, but that's not what I'm there for. I'm there to deliver a message. My company is based on the messaging, the emotion behind it, and the technique too. A lot of stuff we do is very tricky and a lot of people try to emulate it and they can't do it. And there's a, it looks easy, well good, and we did our job, didn't we? But, you know, it's so many people just taking shots and it they learn. People don't take shots at me anymore because they realize, hey, she's going to fire back and it's going to be worse coming back. Oh yeah, you fire a little thing like this and you're going to get a 
big boulder hurled at you because I don't want you doing it again. I don't care if you're a so-called friend or family member. We've cut off a lot of family members because of their BS. Oh well, what kind of family member are you if you're going to do that? I'm always supporting everybody, saying, oh no, good, good, you do that, okay, great. Even if I don't think that behind the scenes, I ain't going to tell that to them to their face. It's not right. I can have an opinion, but, you know, I don't always make everything public or tell that person. So, here's the other thing, too. And sometimes blowing off steam. But, why is it such a big, fake, phony thing? Right? Look at Logan's Run. They basically were brainwashed to want to go to Carousel. Remember that? Carousel was something that was, uh, you know, transformational. You go on, right? Was it to the next life? To the and it's you're better or something like that. And nobody ever saw anybody actually achieve that. So you know, they broke through and they escaped the little dome city and they found an old person. Okay, I'm really getting sick and tired of everybody portraying people as old to look like they have to get fat or super scrawny and have extremely bad sagging skin and wrinkles and no coloring in their hair and they can't do anything and they're put in a rocking chair and on a porch. I did that when I was a teenager because it's just fun, I mean, right? You even did it. He would sit on the porch with the rocking chairs and the swing, remember, in our backyard and all that. But no. So the corporation decided to make caricatures and stereotypes of this BS. And I'm like, we're kind of done with that. So we're breaking through it. We're breaking the mold. And I'm telling all of you too, don't. Why do you have to be brainwashed? It makes me disappointed in you. And I was like, oh yeah, retirement, 65 or 67, whatever the hell the age is right now. And I'm like, why don't you want to be productive for the rest of your life? We don't have a limit amount of resources. Obviously, the oil thing was a big lie. They were just trying to make it rare to hike up the money, the value. Something rare should be more valuable. Well, you're all rare. We're all rare. We're all valuable. But I tell you something, these pieces of crap that are doing some evil stuff to me and maybe other people too. They just diminished their value and they defiled their own value and themselves by their export and ex uh, anything that comes into you that might be defiled is really what comes out of you, isn't it? That defiles you more. So it was their export. Their they're putting um, evil out there. Okay, they diminish their value. That's their choice. And then, you know what? This very same ageist attitude is coming from a lot of these CEOs. I hate to say it. Some of them are really horrible that support this. I'm like, look how old you are. I can kick your tail. Are you serious? I mean, someone needs to slap these people a little bit, you know, to slap them upside the head and say, wake up. You're not even speaking logically or rationally. Not even scientifically. Really, look and see who's starting all this trouble. Look who's backing it with the money. So to hell with ageism. I think it's beautiful to be able to say, I am this old and I'm still doing this. Young people are beautiful too. I'm not saying that they're not worthy and valuable, but guess what? Even their bodies break down and get sick. And some of them are worse off than some of my eldest dancers in my company. Yeah, you know what? It's all BS. So to hell with these people. So we're writing some of these corporations that we do know about where some of the stuff's coming from. And we're gonna tell them off again if we have to. Oh, they'll probably get this video somehow. They always do, huh? Can you hear me now? Yeah, so just back off, all right? Evil people. 
Anyway, so I'm also telling you guys too, if anybody does that, start threatening lawsuits because it is BS. I hire any age. Any, well, I should say anybody over 18. Just because of the laws. I would love to hire younger people, but you know, the laws keep changing and I'm like, oh great, so where does that put us? If we perform in Vegas in a certain place, you have to be 21 or older. That's not my doing. You know, hey, go talk to the people who made these laws and rules. I have no problem working with any age person. And I think that's also the beauty and uniqueness of my company because it has, it's a conglomeration of any age, any size, any ethnicity, any sexual preference, any, 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 anything. Um, and we find it beautiful. You know, it, it can be very beautiful. So, why not? Why not just stop with the stereotypes? So many times I have been tried to like be pushed into a stereotypical role or type. And I was even regurgitating this stuff because in Hollywood or anything, that's the thing. And I'm like, wait, no, why? If you're an actor, remember Tootsie? What did Dustin Hoffman say? I'm a character actor. I can do and play anything. It is true, isn't it? If you're that good, you can. Well, I can pretty much dance anything. At least I create. I can, I can make it work. But I really have so much to say that I don't, you know, I did that whole thing where I worked for other people as a performer, dancing. Now is the time where I'm getting paid as a choreographer to do my own dancing and my own pieces and, hey, I've earned it. I am not going to downplay what I've accomplished. I'm not going to downplay the celebrity or any fame that I have gotten because these people want to gaslight me or brainwash me to think otherwise. It's the same thing, you can apply that to age, race, your faith, anything. People can discriminate against anything, you know, and it's really a shame. Look at that Oprah episode. It was, uh, I think it was the green eyes and the blue eyes or the brown eyes and blue eyes, something like that. I was crying. I was a kid, I think, when I saw that and it just broke my heart to see how you can create a form of bias and discrimination even with eye color and start painting pictures of well that side is bad that eye color is bad and this is why and these are the character traits and stuff like that and within just a few hours it's like how these people just broke their normal behavior and it, it was astonishing I that and the we can't forget you know about uh, Auschwitz and all of that what happened to the Jews, which is also part of my family and heritage, too. And I'm like, well, we forgot. I'm pretty sure the world forgot. And uh, it's, it's just so horrible how people made the stereotype, the discrimination, and it had a marketing facet and function to it. Look at all of it. It had uh, posters. If somebody looks like this, and people see it and they're like, they're so gullible and so many brains and I'm like, why are you falling for this stuff? Stop it. Wake up. You are too important of a person to be acting and behaving so evilly like this. I can find beautiful and wonderful things even in my enemies. It doesn't make me weak. It makes me human and it makes me a better person than them. So I want you to be that better person too. Because if we're all doing our part being better people, guess what? The corporation and those that they represent, bye-bye, they no longer can feed off of this stuff. Oh, don't you worry, they have their own little army too that they brainwashed and raised up. It's pretty sad. But we outnumber them and they know that. We all outnumber them and they know that. We just need to stop being, as Trump says, you know, the silent majority. Well, I've never been a silent person, but, uh, you know, you guys might be. So we need to make some noise. Otherwise, we're going to lose. We need to be the loud majority. 
You know, you have the loud minority, the people who are actually making all this horrible stuff into our world happen. Okay. Part two. Age discrimination, right? No, absolutely not. We don't want this stuff in our world anymore. I don't want people of age to be discriminated anymore. Really, it's like, what the hell? I do have dancers that are pretty much close to twice my age. Why can't I do it? The only reason is because somebody in the group of the corporation just wants to take this from me. As if I would just so, oh, I have no brain, <laughs> you know, and all of a sudden it falls out on the floor and I just, oh, here, I'll surrender it to you. Screw that. Not going to happen. I mean, we've had to write strongly worded letters to several corporations and people saying, um, no, knock it off, please. You know, we can sue them for harassment, even if it's through third parties to my family, to me, or friends, or yeah, because we can trace it back now. Contact tracing, we could do it too. Really rotten. None of their business. So anyway, um, there's a lot that goes along with all of this ageist type mentality. Why do we have to quit anything? And why do we have to start believing, oh, well, the body just doesn't do anything anymore. Did you see that 80-something-year-old woman that did the parallel bars? That's something a man usually does. And she was doing a handstand like this, and her body looked pretty good. She was fit, strong, muscular. Why do our bodies break down? A lot of it is because of the toxins in it. I did a lot of experimentation. I did a lot of interesting things that I'm gonna share someday when I get the thumbs up from certain people in the government. And I'm going to share all of what I did because it helped me. You know, this tissue, I did an experiment where I just ate horribly. This I can at least share. Do you see this? It's taut. What did I do? Go look at the, the picture from the AP News where I'm holding the red ribbon like this. And it, you can see it's all, I was so swollen. It looked horrible and I'm like why did they use that for and the sun's pointing this way and it makes my cheek and I'm like all right you know what and I said fine because it's about the message messaging and I don't want to even sound slightly vain so you know screw it they owe me one they know it good friends we're, we're at that wavelength and we're gonna call upon them pretty soon to help us out they owe me big time they know it but I'm like, you know how I did this? Yeah. Okay, it's not age people, it was toxins. And I could, I have a list of all the toxins. I have a, uh, I'm gonna, when I get the thumbs up, and I'm gonna show you guys what I did. It has nothing to do with age. But why are we telling everybody, oh, once you reach a certain age, you're gonna get fat. Really? Well, years ago, women and men used to get very, very thin when they got older. Something was wrong. Something was wrong either way. What happened? Okay, my mom's skin, she was dying of cancer. And I said this on another video and it's in my books too. Uh, so she's older than me, obviously. And no, she didn't look old except for what illness and toxins were doing to her. And it showed up on her face first. Of course, it always does. And I was looking at her skin on her legs, and it's like, oh my gosh, it's soft and supple, not wrinkled, not creased, nothing. How is this woman dying? How is this happening? That's another subject. But, and I figured out a lot since then. But it didn't make any sense to me. And I'm like, what happens? What happens? And I read certain books. I did the math, meaning research, biology, chemistry, and I learned a lot in the cancer clinic, so I took that knowledge. I learned a lot, okay? It was a gift, it was like second nature. And I applied it to my own life, and I'm like, wow. And it didn't take long, it didn't take long at all to do it. And I'm like, 
right? Right? Because I was exercising. I'm not saying not to exercise. No, please do. Because, you know, hey, you're lifting weights. That strengthens your bones. It strengthens your grasp and your grip. Get get one of those uh, things that go like this. What, what is that called? The grip thing? The word escapes me. I know, me too. But do that. It strengthen. You want to strengthen as much as you can. And then with your toes on the floor, like do inchworm and grasp things. Pick things up with your toes, you know, like how the monkeys do. Strengthen everything and anything. So I'm not saying not to do that, but that's only one component. Okay. Toxins bioaccumulate and they age you. Benzene will actually cause dehydration and wrinkling and creasing where it shouldn't be happening yet. Yes, it's a known scientific fact. So you've got to consume enough B vitamins. B. B. Yes, you must. And that's going to help. But you got to make sure you're not consuming it. And it's everywhere, guys. Whether known or unbeknownst to certain distributors or whatever they are that manufacture whatever. So, you know, we're doing the best we can to make people aware and we write letters and government and we are cooking. We are doing so well. Because I don't want you to age prematurely. I don't want to age prematurely. I don't want the BS in the world to be, oh, 65, bye-bye. Just go, just go, just go. No, we can live longer and look better. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's, like I said, once I get the thumbs up, get certain things in place, yeah. So, you know, this whole ageist movement. And people are, oh no, oh yes, yeah. He thinks thou dost protest too much, a little too much. You draw too much attention to yourselves make your own selves a target. So anyway, I just think that people need to realize that they don't have to listen. They don't have to give up what they love doing. They don't have to stop. Even if you get nobody, you know, Patrick Stewart once said that he only had, what, two people in the audience? For something, a play that he was doing? Was it him? I thought so. And so he invited them up on stage, and he just read the lines and did it right then. And it was a fantastic thing. We've done similar, because I remembered that story, and I'm like, well, the hell with it. Let's just do it. Let's just bring people closer. Let's just, uh, you know, find out what happened. That shouldn't happen. A lot of times that's a warning shot across a bow, in a sense, the, the corporation targeting people. You know what? You better take my bird that I really want to flip you off with as a warning signal. Just stop it with these little bow strikes. We don't give in to that shit. Okay? So, women, I'm proud of you. All ethnicities, stand your ground, I'm proud of you. No violence, so come on. You don't have to threaten people. You don't have to take away things from other people. You don't have to go overboard and get rid of words in our English language, okay? Just moderation, balance, okay? Don't be extremist because that's not going to work. <laughs> uh, I'm not being an extremist. You don't be an extremist because we say, who's backing you? And we do our research and we follow the money and then we find out. So, you know, a lot of people started saying that recently since we started really promoting that phrase, you know that? Uh -huh. It's been around for generations, but there's a lot of phrases that we've been using lately. Some we actually created ourselves, you know, Human Rainbow, and people are hinting at that, and, you know, some people are, like, dropping the hints with using these phrases and words, and I'm like, hmm. Glad I restarted a, a trend, right? Um, but yeah, if you do follow the money, you can really find out a lot of stuff, and did and it's very disappointing very very disappointing so guys you know just don't stop doing what you love just because somebody else is an asshole thinking that you should 
and just say, why? <laughs> just say no. Just say, I'm just gonna keep dancing. I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep whatever it is, fill in the blank. Because really, you should. You are important. The assholes are important too, but because they're defiling themselves, they've diminished their importance. So maybe you're the one who's called to straighten their asses out. Maybe they need to be drop kicked hard by the Almighty or by them just kind of their bullshit catching up to them someday. You know, I don't know. I ain't gonna try and tell you what to do. <sighs> all that I know is that um, I love all people and I want to help all people. If you're a bad guy and you need to repent, then I can help you. Otherwise, I can hear my enemy. I'm gonna have to just say no because you're hurting me or hurting people around me or using people around me to hurt me, whatever the combination of that harm is. So, yeah, be bold. Be your beautiful selves. And uh, I guess that's about it for this one. I'm gonna go on to do another one. I'm having so much fun today doing these. I've missed everybody. Okay, so take good care and don't let anybody tell you what to do. Provided you're not breaking the law or hurting somebody, then guess what? There's gonna be a lot of judges and a lot of people telling you what to do. All right, so I love you guys. Bye, bye beautiful, bye beloved. Yay.